Teacher? Hmm. I see your talents have gone beyond the mere physical level. Your skills are now at the point of spiritual insight. I have several questions. What is the highest technique you hope to achieve? To have no technique. Very good. What are your thoughts when facing an opponent? There is no opponent. And why is that? Because the word I does not exist. So, continue. A good fight should be like a small play, but played seriously. A good martial artist does not become tense, but ready. Not thinking, yet not dreaming. Ready for whatever may come. When the opponent expands, I contract. When he contracts, I expand. And when there is an opportunity, I do not hit. It hits all by itself. Now, you must remember, the enemy has only images and illusions behind which he hides his true motives. Destroy the image, and it will break the enemy. The it that you refer to is a powerful weapon, easily misused by the martial artist who deserts his vows. For centuries now, the code of the Shaolin Temple has been preserved. Remember, the honor of our brotherhood has been held true. Tell me now the Shaolin commandment number 13. A martial artist has to take responsibility for himself and to accept the consequences of his own doing. I'm ashamed to tell you now. Among all the Shaolin men I have taught, there is one who has turned the ways of knowledge and strength to his own base ends. He has perverted all we hold sacred. His name is Han. In defiance of all our beliefs, he has brought disgrace to the Shaolin Temple. So, it is now for you to reclaim our lost honor. Yes, I understand. There is a man here. You will go to him. <laughs>